What is happening everybody? This is Dave Croft and welcome back to another Q review where I feature a Q written by a member of the 52 Q's community and provide thoughts, feedback, and critique like you might hear from a music supervisor or a potential library. Uh, we are checking out Desert Duel, which is an Arabian orchestral cue written by 52 Q's community member, Mark Morganshaw. So we are gonna take a listen to this and then talk about it on the other side. Right, so that was Desert Duel. Thank you so much for sending this along, Mark. Like I said, this was sent uh, up into our weekly feedback threads that we put together every single week over at 52 Qs. And if you would like your Q reviewed, then uh, head over to 52Qs.com and add yours. So now, now Mark is an accomplished uh, uh, library and production music composer. He's got placements, he's in libraries. So this is uh, somewhat of a victory lap. Uh, he said, I've been working on an Arabian orchestral track for a library brief, uh, and this is uh, version three, thanks to some feedback from some other folks in the community. I thought this was really, really nicely done. Uh, the choir I thought was really well done. Yeah, I could, I could have used even a little bit more reverb on, on the vocals there and probably maybe a little hair down in the mix. I, th I thought this is working really well. Love the energy, love the push, love the edit point as well. The um, the there are some the, some of those fast MIDI notes are, are are some of the fast string notes are feeling a little MIDI e to me and so I would I would be careful and back those down or, or just just work them. Another thing is picking a, a string patch which sounds a little bit more authentic to the style and um, there is a, there's a string patch in East West. It's called like Middle Eastern Orchestra or something, which is this sound of an orchestra in in octaves, but all playing 2D together. And so uh, I don't know if you have East-West uh, Composer Cloud or whatever, 
but it would have been it would have been kind of cool to use that type of a string texture right here. And uh, I would make a recommendation for your melodic idea here, your your uh, motif, because we have the boom 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 boom. We're, using, we're doing the same thing every single time. Uh, if we treat this like kind of a, a four bar, a larger four bar idea, maybe put... Um, or some connective tissue, so it's not the exact same thing. So kind of put a little kind of a comma in the phrase here. And then, whoops, let me fix that. Then back to the original motif. Or something else in that phrase at the end so it's not the exact same melodic idea every single time. It feels it feels just a, just a little repetitive. I do like that. I like that, that idea. I couldn't tell if that was a duduk or not. Duduk would work really well through here. I, I think that percussion, the uh, you know, that kind of doombag sounds and all that stuff could come out a little bit more. Three, four, one, two. Um, I feel like we could have added a little bit, a little bit more breathing room here. It was, it feels like it's just one beat. Three, four, one. What would happen if we extended that? Let's see. Let's just see. I'm going to make this twice as long. This might sound terrible. Yeah, just give it a hair more breathing room. So. Ball. I think we should have some low brass, some Brahms, something kind of bomb. Big trombones just all the way, all the way extended <laughs> with their arms outstretched. Just black. Yeah, lips hanging at the end of their bells. Something like that. Yeah, really, really nice. My preference would be to have a nice clean ending here. Dom, and hold it for a full, a full four beats or at least uh, two beats. Off, actually, probably three beats. Three beats, you know, four, two, three. I think three beats would work. Now, all of these are just suggestions. I don't think anything, any of these are deal breakers. You definitely and obviously know what you're doing here. These are all just compositional suggestions for you. Um, and the last thing is, is I thought the mix, the mix was was okay. Mix pretty good. Hard to tell, you know, pulling this uh, offline. This is uh, that dip. That's the 18k dip from the, from the. Um, pulling it off of an mp3 and as far as the the levels we're, we're clipping into the zeros and so uh, I don't know how much you leave at the top um, I, I like to leave around minus one that way we don't 
clip the output bus. But again, this, this could be because I'm pulling it from a MIDI file here or a MP3. Um, off, yeah, yeah, three beats for sure. But man, I thought this was really fantastic. Desert Duel, that's a fantastic title. Mix itself is really, really solid. I think we're, we're in really good shape. Like I said, this was sent along during uh, this past week's feedback threads. We put feedback threads together every single week. And right now you can get feedback on your own queue. We are collecting queues for week 44 and I will be choosing one of these queues to feature next week here on the podcast or on the uh, podcast channel and here on the YouTube channel. But that is going to do it for me. If you want cue, uh, feedback on your own cues and don't necessarily, you know, want to post it up on, on 52 cues, you can also order your own feedback video. Just head over to 52cues.com slash coaching and order up your own feedback video. And while you're there, you can also check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching services and sign up for the waiting list for our winter 2024 mastermind. But that's going to do it for me. Until next time, peace.